just the lay back and let the music flow out of yourself, you know, see what happens live. I think that's important. It was one of the most powerful moments for me, like seeing live music. It was a Bring Me the Horizon Issues Let Live tour, and they came through San Francisco, and the, all four of us were home at the time, so we all, uh, Chris, Brent, and Ian, and I went together. And uh, I hadn't seen Bring Me the Horizon before, and this was right after Sep Eternal came out. They opened with Can You Feel My Heart, and I remember just like after that synth intro and everything kicks in, like the lighting came on and like these, this steam, I guess, I don't know what, but the production like shot up in the air and like they're backlit, so it was just their silhouettes, but the power of the music, it was like, it took my breath away. And like, I, I like started tearing up. <laughs> but it just like, it was just like, oh my God, like that is, that is the feeling right there that I think every musician hopes that people feel when they come out to a show. I always grew up seeing the Grateful Dead. I was practically raised on a field in front of the Grateful Dead. My parents were a very big deadhead, so um, yeah, probably the Grateful Dead goes down in, in history as some of the greatest. It's ingrained into my blood and veins and arteries, so Grateful Dead. I saw Bon Iver like a couple weeks ago, and that initially stands out because it was just like I'd always wanted to see them play, and it was just wild. Like the instrumentation, there like wasn't a, a lot of production, it was just like kind of some weird lights, but it was just, everything was insane. And like the way they structure songs and the whole vibe of the, the, the set was super cool. I saw Deer Tick at the Troubadour many years ago, and they were just so amazing. There was so much energy on stage, and they were just getting progressively drunker throughout the show, and somehow like, that just made it better, even though I knew it was kind of not a great idea for them. Um, it was just a party, and I was like, I think I was 14 or something, and I just felt like an adult hanging out with other adults, and yeah, I left feeling just inspired and excited about music. Coheed and Cambria always puts on absolutely incredible shows. Their musicianship is is really nuts. The first show that we did with them on the first tour that we did with them, we were loading in. And I just had this like shit eating grin on my face the whole time. Like I couldn't stop smiling. I felt kind of like a jackass, like walking around loading everything in, like, God, I probably look like so stupid right now. I would honestly say Circus survived. Like those four days we did with them, it was just so sick. Like they're all amazing at their instruments. Anthony Green's a great vocalist. Uh, their light show was insane. And uh, it was pretty funny because it was just a short little run. It was actually in the middle of recording our new record, and we didn't have any roadies with us. Like, no, everybody was busy. So we asked our producer, like, hey, Greg, would you want to come out for, like, a little short run with us? When the whole night was over, we're just like, so what'd you think of, like, so we could survive? And he goes, dude, those guys made you look like a really bad local band. <laughs> it's cool to see a band that's been doing it for so long that still plays with so much passion and heart and, and care so much. They're still doing it because they absolutely love to do it and they, they still joke around with each other and have a lot of fun. So I think that was really inspiring to me too because I think, you know, I the Mighty's been a band for nine years now and we have absolutely no plans of stopping anytime soon. And uh, that's kind of the dream, right? To be able to, to just keep doing it decades and decades later and still love each other and still have a good time and still bring passion to, to every performance. I don't know, I mean, I feel like we played the shows well. We did, you know, we just like a regular show for us. But they just, I don't know, they just, you can tell they're like professional. They like, all the tempos were perfect. They never missed a note. Uh, the energy was there. They, they played like, you know, like an hour and a, you know, 15 minutes. It was like a longer set than us. And you're just entertained the whole time through. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna give a huge shout out to Twin Peaks right now from Chicago. They're, um, they're what, probably one of my favorite contemporary bands that's going on and um, you really have to see them live because they're just like, they, it's a five piece and and they write just really good kind of Americana rock songs, very Chicago in that it, it's got that like Wilco vibe to it but it's also, it's like young kids making it or kids my age, so 22, 24. Um, and it's just honest music that sounds great live. And in between songs, they just, they don't say anything. 
they just kind of tune their guitars. They say, hey, we're Twin Peaks. And then they, they kind of build back into the next song so that you know that each song is this, is this human breathing living thing. And I think that's really cool, especially in this day and age with a lot of people playing the tracks. Way too many people to playing the tracks. Best ever live show. This is like a pretty easy one. I saw the Rolling Stones. That was like, you can't top that. I mean, that was unreal. So that's probably best ever live show. You can just tell. I mean, obviously they've been doing it for however many years, but I've never seen that type of like just professionalism in a way, like in the way that they carry themselves and that they interact with each other and that they like take you through like the entire set because it's a long show. I think it was like two or three hours, but you're there the whole time and you're not like getting bored at all. It's just you're constantly like 